Hi there, how you doing today? Welcome to another chapter of this channel. If you don't know me, it's okay, nobody knows me. <laughs> Hi there, how you doing today? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Mercy Lady Jimenez, but you can call me Mercy. Just Mercy, okay? Well, today I'm going to talk about the NWD services, how the NWD tool works, how you doing today? <laughs> I hate my intros. I hate them. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Hi there. As I told you, today we are going to talk about the NWD services or measurement goal drilling. But first, I think it's pretty important to know about the pulses. It is pretty important, trust me. But first, I have a question from Jessica. Jessica said, who cares about pulse flow? Jessica, what's your mouth, girl? <laughs> Okay, Jessica, pay attention to me. In your simple life, they are in anywhere. We can imagine them, pulse flows can occur in many biological and neural phenomena. For example, your hair. Your hair generates pulse flows when pumping the blood around the body, right? The presence of each pulse ensures that there are enough oxygen and nourishment for your body to burn efficiently. So, are they important? Obviously. Pulse flows are generated when aquatic creators uh, like squids and jellyfish swim. Also, pulse flows have found applications including mixing and cleaning in different industries, but you might be surprised just to know that it can be used to carry data from, from, from downhole to surface. It is possible, and, it, and this is how it works, by the way. So here's the thing. What is measurement goal drilling, or NWD? Well, most people who are working within the drilling industry have heard the term NWD, but what is exactly and what is its significance? Yes, with advances in directional drilling, it's necessary to know the drill bead coordinates in 3D space during drilling to steer it better and follow the plan all well past. Also, it would be extremely useful to driller to know the downhole conditions like wear on bit or uh, the torque and temperature as well as rock formation properties to make informed decisions during drilling. All of these measurements should happen while drilling and that explains where NWD comes from. But how it is done? The main challenge is how to transfer all the data from downhole to surface. So we can put a package of sensors in the drill stream, but there is no wire, okay? This is the most important. So the question is how to achieve this? Like every challenge, engineers have to come up with innovative solutions. Last list, what we've got in down, your pipe, drilling mod and rock formation. Interestingly, there is an NWD technique developed using each of these mediums, namely acoustic, mud pulse, and electromagnetic wave telemetry, respectively. Recently, wire drill parts have been introduced to industry, but there is still stuff. Its application is limited because it's so expensive. Okay? So, the key to all of these approaches is to encode the required measure data into pulse wave in the form of acoustic fluid pressure, uh, fluid pressure pulse or electromagnetic wave and send them to the surface where a decoder converts all the pulse data to a meaningful number, okay? So, all of these methods possess their unique shortcoming and strength. However, mod pulse telemetry is the most popular and least intrusive operationally and is the focus of this video, okay? As with any wireless telemetry, the mod pressure pulse 
telemetry process comprise the following subsystems downhole measurement system and mode pulser encoding the downhole measurement data into pressure pulses and decoding the pressure pulses at surface it is a beautiful combination of these three that they should be aligned to get the data uh, well decode at surface and there are a lot of parameters that we need to consider when preparing the tool when assemble the, assembling the pulser we need to know how the the drilling mode will be in that section how are the pumps working for example how are the correct times uh, when programming tools according with the sensors that you have there are a lot of things that we need to consider to, to get these three subsystems work properly and it is here because when it is a match and there should be a match to decode the data because maybe the data is inappropriate times then you're gonna die when you're really because your data won't be decoded and it is so sad we don't want to be in that position, but it could happen if you don't know or if you are not paying attention of what you are doing with your tool and with your entire process, okay? So let's talk about a little bit the NWD tool. The NWD tool is an electromechanical system which consists of directional sensor package, mod pulse generator, and power source which can be a battery or turbine generator assembly. The NWD2 assembly is placed in a monel, and a monel is a non-magnetic decoder to reduce the interference with magnetometers used for azimuth duration measurement. NWD2 is usually placed above drilling motor in VHA. It's usually placed above. If we have Okay, just a second. I, I, was, was, I was thinking about the idea to, to have a bead shape. This is the mud motor and this is the drill bead. If you have, a, for example, a, an LWD services, so you will, you will need a LWD tool. So this is blogging while drilling, this is the uh, mud motor, and this is the drill bead. And here is the NWD just like here. The NWD is above the motor or the mode motor is here. Okay, let's imagine that we have the NWD and here is the pulser, okay? And inside the pulser, there is a puppet and there is an orifice just in this, in this part, okay? Imagine that, okay, the, the driller pumps up the pumps so the drilling mood is going is going to pass through the drill stream and the flows in this in this direction the first thing that the mud flows is going to find is the puppet above the pulser is this is the puppet imagine that the puppet is right here in this position, okay, it have a measure and also there is an orifice. The positive pulse is created, as I told you, when you momentarily restrict the mod flow. And how it is done? Okay, there is a valve, there is a mechanism. But what really happens is that you have the puppet and the orifice programmed just to close and open okay and obviously it's going to pass uh, depending of the drilling section of the formation of your tool there, there, there is a time the entire flow will pass in this small section so if you have or if you if you do a change of this pressure by doing this, you're going to create a mud pulse. When you try to, to teach this in Spanish, it's easier. 
than when you are trying to do it in another language that is not your own or your mother tongue language. So if you have this increase inside your dream stream, then it's going to create a mod pulse. And it is positive because it is an increase inside the mod call. Okay? This generated pulse wave travels back to the surface and it is detected by a decoder pressure sensor. This technique is used for telemetry systems which need slow rate of data transmission. Okay? And there is another way to do it to do or to generate the mod pulses. The negative pulse. Pulses are generated by venting. Remember that you have your drill stream, you have your mod motor, for example, your drill bead, your mod motor, you have your pulser. But in this case, when we talk about the negative pulse, there is a mechanism or a venting the drilling fluid from the drill stream into the annulus. There is a mechanism there that allows that the mud flows go out of the drill stream. Obviously, if you have a polarized system in, inside the, your drill stream, obviously you're going to observe a decrease in your, pre, in your pressure measurement. So, mud pressure decrease during venting and pressure pulse will generate this decrease I'm going to show you in this picture I hope it helps this technique is rarely used in the industry well it's a bit expensive by the way but it's an interesting way to have a faster data and also there is another system or another mechanism uh, and there is the continuous pulse okay so a continuous pressure pulse is created by a rotation of a rotor over a stator. It's called siren, since the principle of this function is similar to the sirens used in ambulances and tornado waving alarms. This technique is used for faster telemetry systems. Now we have to know how to encode in the downhole measurement data on pulses. Okay. The process of encoding downhole data on pulses is called modulation, okay? Have you wondered what is FN and AN stand for when tuning to a radio station? They stand for frequency and amplitude modulations respectively, okay? They are different techniques to convert the radio signals, I mean, this sounds to electromagnetic waves broadcasted into our radio receivers. In this process, first, the data is converted to a numerical or a numeral system like binary system, including series of ones and zeros. And when we are talking about AM or amplitude modulation, zeros and one are transmitted by varying the amplitude of signal while the frequency is fixed, all right? And when we're talking about the, the FM, it is done by varying the X frequency while the amplitude is fixed. Then we need to decode in the modulated pressure pulses at surface. And the main instrument for decoding the pressure pulses include a pressure sensor and electromagnetic box which converts the analog data of pressure pulses to digital data for a signal processing, all right? Due to existences of noise mainly from the mod pond at the surface, the generated signal gets filtered out and it is a code to obtain meaningful engineering number for the measured physical parameters. So, the process of signal decoding is the reverse of signal encoding, which was explained earlier. The decoded data is displayed in real time on a PC as shown in this picture. There is another thing that is pretty important to be uh, careful about, and this is the pulse wave attenuation. Pressure pulse wave usually travels several thousand feet against mud flows in drill stream to reach the surface at the speed of sounds in the mud, typically 3,000 to 5,000 feet per second. This wave is attenuated 
as it propagates to the surface by a dissipation factor, okay? So, is it important to know about the mod pulse telemetry? Yeah, we can see that mod pulse telemetry is an essential part of directional unit services and is a challenging engineering topic. The final goal uh, of this system is to accurately carry the downhole data to the surface, okay? And then the unit is going to change or convert the digital and analog both or data to an engineering data. Then we are going to transmit that data into the display or reflow displays just to the dealer place the well in the right position. And finally of that, if you are with LWD servicers or not, you're going to deliver a report, your final survey report or your LWD QC logs. So it is important that this data is well transmitted from downhole to surface and well decoded by the way. So I hope you, you get more clear about this topic and if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section. I will appreciate uh, if you like this video just like it and subscribe to my channel. Okay? Bye bye.